Hi, my name is Jakob Kay. I work for the Nith Valley Leaf Trust as a community development and housing officer. I've been overseeing the Closed Burn Passive House project, which you see behind me. The Closed Burn Passive House homes were developed by the Nith Valley Leaf Trust, a community development trust with charitable status set up in 2009. The aims have been to develop sustainable community-driven projects within the rural parish of Closeburn in Dumfries and Galloway. The village of Closeburn is situated on the A76 road, approximately 14 miles north of the regional town Dumfries, and around two and a half miles south of the larger village Thornhill. The estimated population of the community council is 650 people, with 250 living in the village itself. Closeburn is an agricultural and forestry area on the Nith Valley. The village has 115 houses, 60% of which are owner-occupied, which is slightly lower than the national average. The amenities comprise of a primary school with 63 pupils, a specialist therapeutic educational facility, a small shop, garden centre, village hall and church. The trust also took over the asset of a derelict orchard near the church to establish new fruit trees and edible plants. Work has been progressing towards setting up community growing facilities, educational workshops with an outdoor classroom and wheelchair accessible paths to grow organic produce as well as to teach gardening skills for people of all ages. In 2016, an action plan was created to identify the needs of the community. The summary of this survey concluded that the main issues were the lack of housing to rent and that fuel poverty was a significant concern. From the 2016 Scottish Index of Multiple Deprivation report, Closeburn had been classified as 40 to 46% most deprived, based on suitability of housing and physical condition. This is based on the proportion of household population that experience overcrowding or are without central heating. Compared to the regional and national rates, Closeburn has three times higher proportion of socially rented accommodation. As a result of this action plan, the Trust engaged with the Dumfries and Galloway Small Communities Housing Trust to ascertain what type of housing would be most appropriate to the community. Hello, I'm Mike Staples, the Chief Executive of Dumfries and Galloway Small Communities Housing Trust. We're an organisation that provides support to community-led housing within the context of community ownership of land and assets, and community development across the south of Scotland. Um, we've been working with the Nith Valley Leaf Trust uh, throughout the course of this project from the tail end of the development of their community action plan and identification of uh, affordable housing as an issue they wanted to address and we've worked to establish the localised demand to underpin the need for family housing in the community and to draw together the wider uh, funding package for the delivery of the Closeburg Passive House. A key strength of the project has been a clarity of objective from day one. The community were determined to deliver upon two things, a need to bring additional family housing into the community in a way that would sustain local services, particularly the school, and at the same time, a desire to address climate emergency and very particularly uh, an evidence base for fuel poverty as a key issue within the local community. These decisions led to a determination from the very outset to deliver upon passive standard housing, and that in turn led to our engagement with the design team 
laid by John Gilbert Architects and working with Stuart and Shields. So, what is Passive House? This concept is designed carefully with consideration for the climate, including solar gain and shading. Looking carefully at the placement of surrounding trees and the positioning of windows in relation to the sun. They are insulated very well and carefully to ensure there is no thermal bridging using triple glazed windows and doors. The building goes through rigorous air tightness testing to ensure there are no drafts coming in and it stops heat escaping through any gaps. The house is ventilated very carefully using a mechanical heat recovery system so the outgoing warm air is filtered and recirculated back into the house. With the natural heat given off by household appliances and by human activity, there is generally enough warmth to require a very small heating system to keep temperatures at comfortable levels. The combination of these design principles achieves houses which have a significant reduction in fuel consumption. This also means low carbon emission well on their way to meeting zero carbon home standard. Grants were awarded from the Rural Housing Fund, Scottish Land Fund, SSE Clyde, the Annandale Nithsdale Community Benefit Company and Lawburn Housing Association. The remainder of the project cost was delivered through a loan from the Ecological Building Society. The Rural Housing Fund provided the bulk of the grant in agreement of the fact that the homes will always be rented at affordable levels. The site of the houses on Castle Crescent was part asset transferred from Dumfries and Galloway Council. John Gilbert architects were chosen to design the housing based on their experience and forward-thinking vision of passive house design, working closely with Stuart and Shields towards achieving affordable passive house standard homes. The construction is built simply using high efficiency materials and maximising the use of timber. John Gilbert Architects designed a simple terrace clad in Scottish larch and render with a hint of colour, which reflects the village and rural setting. In the time leading up to the completion of the building works, the Trust called out to the community for applications for tenancies within the new homes. Three families were chosen through an independent panel who assessed the criteria of each application in accordance with the allocation policy, including housing needs and their connection to the local community. Having moved into the homes in the summer of 2020, we asked them how they're getting on. when it was Wallace Hall, sorry. And then obviously Connor attended the school. And so now, like if Leo goes to, well, when Leo goes I'm to quite the, old school, the, old, uh, the same um, school. Yeah, like when he goes to the school, that'll then be three generations of his family that have been. So I like that. Yeah, I think the knowledge that like, yeah, it's not all of a sudden gonna be like, oh, actually like, you know, you need to get out because we're gonna sell the house or we're gonna whatever is is a comforting thought and to know obviously that now like he's gonna grow up here in this house it's nice yeah uh, hello my name's sammy and my husband's lee um and we've been married four years now i think 
week. So, um, yeah, Lee's a car salesman and works under free sale and Vauxhalls, and he really enjoys that. And I used to work in nurseries, um, and then I had my two young kids, and always wanted to be a childminder then because I wanted to stay at home with them, but I uh, never had anywhere that I could proceed that. Like no one was willing to let someone run the business from the house. Um, in any of the houses we stayed in but now that I've came here I've managed to start up and I've got four kids that I regularly look after after school so it's been really really good um, yeah so our housing before we got this house um, within a year we got kicked out twice uh, from private landlords they gave us both 28 days notice to leave with two young kids because they wanted to sell so the first one was in Dumfries and they gave us 28 days notice and we found the house in Ecclefechan and they said they wanted a long term tenant so we said great we'll move, moved all the way to Ecclefechan and within six months they did the same thing. 28 days and the day we got the letter for the 28 days notice we actually got an eviction letter saying that he was starting eviction proceedings um, because he'd already sold the house. There was three days between us moving out and the keys being handed to the new owners. Um, because we were in less than six months, he was legally allowed to do it and didn't care because he lived in London. So we had to move again. We landed in at my mum and dad's because there was nowhere else for us to go. So we were homeless and then we got confirmation that we could get in here. And we were so happy to finally have somewhere that was settled, that's safe. We can't be kicked out. We're not leaving. <laughs> like, um, we don't have to uproot the kids again from friends that have made around the village um, and that was really important to me for Chloe starting nursery now I didn't want to have to keep moving if we were in a private rent again so it is, it's been amazing here to finally feel settled somewhere Hello, uh, my name is Kasia, this is my family this is my husband Pavel and two daughters, Hania and Jagoda I work in a care home in Thornhill and my husband right. works in a farm uh, in Crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. It's, um, it's really warm. That's one good thing. It's quite quiet as well. So the, um, the isolation in the walls, so it's quite quiet. Um, yeah. <laughs> we are happy this house is a space and brain. Bright. Uh, bright and it's um, wonderful. Big, lovely windows, nice view, and uh, close to park. So I could, after my younger daughter, it's really, really nice. Now we think so will be a lot cheaper because we don't start heating here. It's really, really warm. No, yes. no, no. It's middle of October. It's uh, cold outside, but inside it's really nice. Yeah, we haven't um, turned on the heating yet since we've got the house. Even in the middle of like, even at this time of year, it's not quite middle of that. But like, yeah, even at this time of year, to be able to not have to absolutely bundle up, and mainly for him as well, like... It's great. It seems like it's going to be really energy efficient, so because if not needing the heating on, then that's a big saving. Um, from anyone's bills, so yeah, it's really, really good. Hi, I'm Mike Steele from Nith Valley Leaf Trust. The energy efficiency aspect of the houses is very important because it means they'll be very inexpensive to run. In the future, it means that our young people can stay, it means they can send their kids to our school, use our shop, and take part in all the activities, like the gala, that we run at the moment. So for us, passive houses really, really work.